All right, we're gonna start reassembling the water pump. So I've got the manual here. It shows you how everything goes. That's the manual. Posted a link in one of the comments when somebody asked me. Uh, but this thing's really handy. It shows you how to do everything. So here's the exploded assembly of the water pump. And you can see, here's the seal, right? That goes in the impeller. This is the new seal that came with the kit. And it's spring-loaded. It doesn't look like the old one's spring-loaded. Uh, I think they used like some uh, stacks of rubber rubber washers or something. But anyway, I think it's spring-loaded so it can wear. So it goes in kind of the opposite of what you'd expect, right? You don't want these tabs to go down inside. You don't want it to go like that. You want it to go like this. Because if you could tell, this is like a, a hard plastic. And that actually rides on that shiny surface. That's what needed to be cleaned up. They want that to be um, smooth, right? Because this thing's going to sit there like that. And this side, the rubber side, is glued into the impeller. They have you glued in there. And then in, when you press it in, the spring kind of compresses down and it rides like that as it spins. And it actually wears. Um, the old one that I took out, you could see a groove worn into this. And the spring's probably there to keep it pressure on it and to push it in as it wears. Um, I don't know if the original pump was ever rebuilt, but, uh, you know, this, the, the wear piece was in decent shape, but it did have a groove. And it was leaking a little bit, and the bearing was really loose. When I uh, took it out, you know, it would rattle around, so I figured, time for rebuild. So, step one is they have you, here's the bearing, long side goes in, short side goes out. This is where the fan goes on. So they have you press it in like this. And again, when you're pressing, you want to be conscientious of what is going to be taking the load of you pressing it. So right now we're pressing this this piece into the body of the pump. So we don't want to press on the shaft. That's going to stress the bearings. So we want to press here. This actually goes in fairly easily. I might have to press it a little bit. And then the next step is I'm actually going to have to glue the seal into the... They have you glue, glue it in like this. And then you press on the, the impeller. You want to make sure that the tabs line up so they don't get hung up. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to align that to make sure it's solid, but I'll figure it out. And then it goes in like, like this. And again, it gets pressed on. So when you're pressing on the impeller, obviously you're going to want to press here. Because the shaft is going to be doing all the... the force and you're going to press the whole thing down onto the impeller and then um, this is the bearing retainer this goes on here and it presses down once this is down all the way it's going to go down like that and then the pulley goes on over the outside so I'm just going to review the documentation make sure I do all this in the right order be back all right, so I got it in the press. I've got the outside of the bearing captured in the plates. And then I had to get a little creative, just put a piece of bar stock across the top. And it's going in pretty easily. Directions say push it until it bottoms in the housing. And I may have to adapt here because I don't know if that's going to clear. There it goes. All right, be back. Next is the bearing retainer. That's this piece going around the outside. And I'm using a spark plug socket because I need enough room for the shaft to poke out um, without bottoming, bottoming out on the, on the ram. So I'm just going to go down easy. Make sure it's staying nice and straight. It 
kind of stopped. So I'm gonna go check that out and I'll be back.